this video shows you how to use X-Lite 2012 to test your PixLite controller. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and pull up the Lights Assistant and I'm going to go ahead and do a search. You can see that it found my controller. It's at the IP address of 192.168.1.55 and that is because uh, it has requested an IP address using DHCP for my local router on my network. Now I'm also going to show you what the setup is. Now for this demonstration we have a very simple setup. We have three pixels each connected to output 1, 2, and 3. Each of these is 3 DMX channels, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. Now normally what I would do is I would say the starting universe 1, so this is universe 1, and it's going to say 1 nodes per stream. Now of course normally you would have 50 or something like that, um, but in this case we're just using 1 and you can see that when we go to the advanced we're going to see that it automatically has addressed these nodes. It's automatically set the start address and used up the addresses in a nice logical order. So again, as you can see here, channels 1, 2, 3 for DMX. This is 4, 5, 6. This is 7, 8, 9. All right, so again, outputs 1, 2, 3. Real simple. Again, you would also have a different setup specific to your particular settings. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. And what we're going to do is going to go ahead and pull up the X lights. Now there's a new X light and there's an old X lights. Uh, we have a particular preference towards the old X lights 2012. The link is on our website. When you open it up, it looks like this. Uh, you may be prompted for some location. We're going to go ahead and click on the button labeled Network Setup. Now this allows you to configure the output device. Now X lights is basically a Swiss Army knife it allows you to set up and test all kinds of different outputs LOR controllers, D-Lite controllers, Renard, our Lynx uh, Pro, DMX Pro like our ActaDongle, Open DMX controllers, PixelNet, there's everything in here. The one we're concerned about here is E131 which is what the PixLite controller is. E131 uh, is of course DMX over e Ethernet and technically over TCP IP. So we're going to go say E131. It's going to appear this option here. There's multicast or unicast. Multicast basically sends out the data to all the devices on your entire network. It doesn't target a particular device. That may or may not be good. If you have a large network, it could be bad. If you have a wireless network, it may be bad. Uh, generally, we suggest setting the static IP address on these controllers and then doing unicast. And so that's what we're going to do here. Now remember our IP address was 155, so we're going to do 192.168.1.55. And just for confirmation here, whoops, we're going to pull up uh, the command window. I'm just going to do a quick ping 192.168.1.55. Make sure my controller's there, which it is. Okay. Now, remember in the Lights Assistant, we said our starting universe was one, and we only have one universe listed here. So we're only going to be testing one universe. Now it is possible that you might have universes one. So for example, you have universe one on this, 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 and this output, and then universe two starting here, here, and here, here. Or you could have as much as two universes per output, because this controller can control 16,000 channels. So you could have two universes here. So it all depends on your particular setup, but your x lights configuration needs to match that of your PixLite controller. So uh, we have one universe, and there's only one universe in here of this starting universe number one. Now if we had put in 10 universes, it would set up 10 universes. We're going to go ahead and click OK. You can see that it's automatically set because we have a full universe. We have 512 DMX channels in that universe. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now we're going to go to schedule and test. This brings up the schedule and test box. Now, unknown to a lot of people is that actually X Lights has the ability to not only do testing, but also play your sequences. So if you need to, it can play your sequences from LOR. Okay, so we're going to click this button right here, the test lights button. This will bring up another dialog. 
And what we're going to do is go ahead and say select all. And you'll notice that puts a check mark next to all the channels. So we're on the E131 network. It's network one. This is the IP address of the controller. It's universe one. So it gives us everything we need to know about what network we're testing. Now, I'm just going to back up a second here, and I'm going to show you what that would look like if we had configured multiple networks. So, for example, here you have one. So let's say we set up another universe, and we set up two. See, now we have, whoops, I'm sorry. This, we would want this as uh, unicast, 192.168.1.25. Now it would work with multicast, but we're going to go ahead and do the unicast. We're going to go to test. And again, when you go into the test, you're going to see this time two tabs, one for network two, one for network one. Now, as I've shown you at the beginning, we only have one network configured uh, because we only have three channels here. So the first thing you can do if you're just not sure of what even your addresses are, go ahead and just do select all. Now you'll notice that doesn't apply to each individual network. It just does it to this network. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and just we're going to start off with the standard option. So we're going to go ahead and say background color, our background only. I'm just going to turn this up. And you can see that that is controlling the light output. You can do all kinds of different functions here. Um, now, let's go ahead and look at the individual RGB options here. So what we can do is background only, and then come up. Now, these are not labeled in a particular color because pixels don't always come in red, green, blue. So if you're looking for red, green, blue, that's not the way they appear. They're in groupings of three. So this is going to be red, green, blue in this particular pixel, red, green, blue. So if we light these up, you can see that it's lighting them up, all the ones that are in groupings of three. So channel one, four, seven. So if we go over here, two, four, eight, and then finally, three, six, nine. Or if we turn them all on, you can see you get white. Now you can also use functions like this that allow you to test your pixels. You can also make them go slowly through different fades and you can change the speed of that. So this is useful if you're trying to do a test and you just want to see that your pixels are outputting the right order or that they're all working. So maybe you want to make sure that you have red, green, and blue working independently on all the pixels that you have con connected. So again, this is a very useful test. You can then, of course, go up here once you're done. Do all lights off. It'll turn, out, turn off the output. So X-Lights is yet another useful tool along with DAE131 that allows you to do a lot of testing on your pixels before you go into your sequencing applications. We always start troubleshooting with customers in these test applications before we go into the more complex applications like Lightshow Pro, Lightorama, Madrix, or other applications. The links for the download for this free application, XLights 2012, is available on our website.